Hey everyone, welcome to the release notes of Era Test Node Alpha.6. My name is Nick, let's get started. For bug fixes this release, we have fixed call stacks and console logs, so those should now be outputting correctly again. For breaking changes, we did some refactoring on how we're storing the current block timestamp and current block number and batch number. So the config get current timestamp endpoint now correctly reflects the current node timestamp instead of previously displaying the timestamp of the next block to be mined. All right, let's talk new features. We've made some updates to provide basic support for Rivet, a tool from Paradigm for local DAP development. We've also implemented three new endpoints, ETH get storage at, ETH accounts, and ZKS batch details. We've also updated the console output of ETH call to be a little more human readable. So let's take a look at an example of ETH get storage at. What I have here is a unit test that's going to deploy the greeter contract and set the greeter message initially to high. Then we'll update the greeter message to hola mundo. We also have a console log line to write out the address where the contract is being deployed because we'll need that for the ETH get storage at quest. If you look down here, the ear test node is already running. So I'm going to run the test and you'll see that the address is printed out. I grab this, put it into the request, and let's look at the zero index. What this returns is the initiator for the transaction. So you'll see it matches, it ends in DC049, and then matches over here with DC049. If we take a look at the second index, 0x1, this returns the value of the greater message. So if I bring this over here and scroll down, I know this is backwards, but it does say hola mundo exclamation point backwards. If we take a look at the console, we also see calls output is now in hexadecimal format instead of an integer array. So this is much easier to interpret or copy and paste. We also mentioned basic rivet support. So let's take a closer look at that. One interesting thing we can always do with the era test node is fork an upstream network. In this case, I'm going to fork mainnet. Now, whenever we fork mainnet, we are also providing these 10 rich accounts on startup. So if we go over here and pull up rivet, here's how to connect. We click create Anvil instance and go ahead and continue. For the port, we are going to provide 8011, chain ID is 260, the network name, RPC URL I'm going to leave as blank, and the rest of the values I'll leave as is. I'll hit continue, and you'll see that the 10 rich accounts start populating and show you the balance. Now, if you click over to something like the blocks tab, it will start pulling data from the blocks upstream that it forked from. So you can already see some transactions uh, from the real mainnet have started showing up. So you can actually explore some of these uh, transactions and look a little deeper for their logs, uh, for example. But since our node is still running, we can actually run some of our end-to-end -end tests and see the new blocks being generated. So if we come back to Rivet, we should now see an updated balance for the account that was used for the end-to-end -end tests. And we can also start looking through some of the blocks that were generated. And in this case, it was that same test where we are updating the greeting to be Hola Mundo. There's more support coming for Rivet and the Anvil namespace in upcoming releases, so stay tuned. All right, that's it for today's release notes. Thank you for watching. Download the binary and try it out yourself. Happy coding.